Hello and welcome to my home tutorial. Today's lesson is going to be on mechanical principles, kinetic and dynamic. So let's get started. Okay, so the first example we're going to look at is a car travelling at 20 km per hour is brought to rest with a constant retardation in a distance of 30 meters. Calculate A the time taken and B the value of the retardation. Okay, so for the, for the time taken the first thing we need to do is to convert the kilometers per hour to meters per second. So 20 kilometers per hour equals 20 times a thousand divided by 3600 which equals 5.5556 meters per second. Now using v squared equals u squared plus 2a s where v squared equals 0 u squared equals 5.5556 squared s equals 30 the distance and a is the acceleration which we don't know yet so let's rearrange this equation to give us a so we end up with v squared minus u squared divided by 2s equals a now v squared is the initial velocity which is 0 so we can say 0 minus u squared which is the speed it is travelling which equals 5.5556 squared divided by 2 times s which is 30 equals 0 no, sorry equals a so this gives a equals minus 30.8642 divided by 60 which equals minus 0 0.5144 meters per second squared so we've now calculated the value of the acceleration of the car. Okay, so I made a note of the acceleration up on the right hand side. Now we use V equals U plus AT. And we can rearrange this so that we get the T on its own. And this gives us V minus U divided by A equals T. So, again, V is 0, 0 minus U, which was 5.5556, divided by A, which is minus 0 0.5144, and this equals, so T equals 10.8. 0, 0, 2 seconds. So rounding it off is 10.8 seconds. Okay, okay, so we've now calculated the time taken. Now the value of the retardation is the opposite to the value of the acceleration. So we can just say that 
retardation equals 0 0.5144 Okay, so we've now calculated the value of the time taken and the value of the retardation. So let's have a look at another example. Okay, a body of mass 50 kilograms is suspended at a height of 20 meters above the ground. Calculate A, potential energy stored at this height, and B, if the body fell freely, the ve velocity 10 meters above the ground. Okay, so first we're going to find the potential energy stored at 20 meters with the body 20 meters above the ground. Now, potential energy is given by mg times h. So we've got the mass of the body times the gravitational acceleration times the height. So this gives Pe equals. 50 times g is 9.81 times the height which is 20. So calculating this the potential energy 20 meters above the ground is 9810 joules. Okay so I've made a note of answer A at the top I've also amended the drawing for the next question. So we're now asked to, fly, to find the velocity when the body is 10 meters above the ground if it is allowed to fall freely. So using v squared equals 2gh we can rearrange this to get rid of the squared so we say v equals the square root of 2gh Therefore, v equals the square root of 2 times 9.81 times 10. And this equals 14.01 meters second. So we've now calculated the potential energy for a 50 kilogram body stored 20 meters above the ground and if it was allowed to fall freely what the velocity would be at 10 meters high. So that's my final example. If you've got any other particular examples you'd like me to work through please post them in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.